over in New Holland Dome. So I've got Lizzie again, I'm doing the bedding, she's doing the kitchen and the toilets, we've got quite a little system going here. Um, the kids are bored already, um, so hopefully if we can get this done quickly then we can go out and do something fun this afternoon. We finished all the changeovers that we needed to do, it was just the one day, um, and sorted out all the rubbish and all that sort of stuff, and the bedding from all the other domes. Um, just in time, because the heavens opened. But I'm on a mission before it goes to totally silly season next week, um, to try and get William's room done. I'm gonna show you the mess. So we just got him a new like cabin bed, but now everything is everywhere. Like the whole place is a disaster zone. So that's my job for now, is to try and make this look like an actual room. When William's left in his end devices, this is the sort of thing he gets up to. I'm just upstairs cleaning his bedroom. And I looked out the window. Mommy! Yep. So I have finished William's bedroom. He's made his very own boys only sign. Um, look, you can actually see the floor. I mean, there is immense satisfaction from tidying your kid's bedroom and having like an actual empty floor. Um, even though you know in like literally 15 seconds it's gonna be destroyed, but at least it's clean for now and you've seen it clean. So the pizza oven has arrived for the outdoor kitchen. It, this one was 80 pounds. I know you'll love an unboxing video. <laughs> so this is it. A shachi. Oh. It sounds really good, doesn't it? <laughs> Today is Tuesday. We didn't finish our pizza oven unboxing video because um, a friend called needed me in an emergency, so I just went to help her with her kids. Um, so we'll get to the pizza unboxing later on today. Um, today's quite a bit today. We've got freelance mum this morning, and then we're going to meet some friends in Hestercoombe, so that should be quite fun. Yeah, it's Toby. So we are on our Somerset Network. Um, we basically just go for a nice walk around the river. There's some focus questions that we set, so we get to chat about specific things, and then we normally end up going to have a coffee, so it's quite a nice day. So the kids are here, so they quite like the walk, and also I've got chocolate brownies for them later, so um, that will keep them happy. So nice. This is our normal walk. Sometimes it's completely underwater, so we have to go a different way, but in the summer it's quite nice. You can get to see the cows, get to have a look at, a walk, look at the moors. So we've just arrived at Hestercombe. We had a quick pit stop at Tesco to get some lunch. And now we're gonna go for a little wander with some friends. Just went to ballet. <laughs> the boys are really noisy in the back. Uh, yeah, the boys are really annoying. We're just driving back to the house. This is a chimney of sorts. Yeah. Oh my days. In a whisper. Ah! What are you breaking? Have you broken the pizza stone? Possibly. Oh, well, they shouldn't have just left it there. It's really. Packaged. I've also bought um, wood pellets. So this is um, how many kilos of pizza oven pellets to hopefully make it easy to use. Good news, it's in bubble wrap. Well, that's not going to have. We dropped it on the corner. Oh, oh God, and now you've just... Have you actually broken it now? I don't know. Oh, oh. What, have you cut your finger? Oh my days, what is wrong with you? <gasps> Would you stop dropping it? It's Wednesday. We finished faffing about the pizza oven last night, so this is it. So um, I'm going to give that a whirl later on because we've got all the wood pellets ready to go. So I might make pizzas for tea this evening and see how it works. But otherwise, I'm just trying to have a general sort out of the house because I've only got a few days before it all goes to pot with the busy season and stuff. So I'm basically trying to sort out where all the tools are kept 
trying to make this nice. I think I'm going to put a curtain here just to make it like so you don't see it all. Um, I need to move the doll's house my dad made for me when I was little. Um, I want to keep some and maybe put it in Annabelle's bedroom, but again, I haven't got don't can't do that on my own. Um, I want to finish painting the staircase. Um, I'm just moving stuff up to the storage room upstairs. So I'm just, it's just a bit of a boring day really. But I am going to take the kids to the park and meet some friends later. Just because otherwise they just kind of fester in their pits. Watching the telly, playing on their tablets, not good. So I'm going to go out and get some fresh air, go to the park. We've just been out to the park, come back. I've got a lot of mowing to do, so I need to get that done really as I've now left it till half past five in the evening and I'm hoping the guests are still out. So uh, we're going to jump on the mower. Apparently, apparently this is where William sits here. Hello. So, um, off we go. Today is Thursday. Um, Brian has the day off, so we have just been tidying the house and doing boring mowing stuff this morning. Um, but... We do love a lunch out, so we're going to the King Alfred in Boroughbridge, which and is just off, down the road. And then afterwards, we're going to up our lunch. We are, so we'll have a quick um, lunch at the King Alfred, and then we'll have a quick trip up the mump, which we will show you in a bit. I see. Here we are, just finished having our burgers, my mm -hmm. belly stuff, and we're about to go up to Borough Mump. It's quite a steep incline. It's actually not too high, not as high as, say, Glastonbury Tor, but it's still, nevertheless, after a big fat burger, I think I'm going to find it quite difficult. Okay, as I have beat Vicky, that was hard going. I think I'm puffed up. <laughs> you up halfway. What do you mean? So, if you look out that way, you can see our dome. Just peeping through. You can see Glastonbury Tour as well. Oh, you can actually see the tour. Yeah, so really? this is all the Somerset levels. Can we race to go down? Uh, you want to race? No, I'll go head over hills. Ready? Ready. Yeah, you're racing as well. Okay. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I was 37 Ta. seconds quicker than recently. Oh, well, it was quite scary. Vicky bought a multi gym, would you believe, from Facebook Marketplace. And we've just been to go and pick it up. There's a problem. The thing is still fully assembled and we can't fit it into the van. We tried and tried and tried. So now we're off to Screw Fix to go and get some tools to try and disassemble it so that we can then get it in the van. Did you not think to check this before, Vicky? So here we are in a housing estate in Somerset, trying to completely detach a part of multi gym so that it will fit in the car, and just hope it works. So we managed to get it just about into the house. We had to take it apart a bit more just to get it in through this that door, and now I have to try and put the whole thing back together again. So it's all done. So was this the most stressful and late Father's Day present you've ever received? It was very stressful getting into the van when we turned up and we didn't have any tools or anything and the whole thing was still assembled. Well, I just thought it would, he would, like, A, have some tools or B, disassemble it. Well, it's in now. It's in your new gym. Happy days. Yeah, no, it's happy days. So now, today, it's time to test out the pizza oven. So we went and bought a blowtorch. It's a bit overkill, but, you know. Oh, as I said, all of these are light. Whoa! Why are the pellets out of the way? Well, I did ask for them to be. What's the matter? You don't like it. Okay. Well, they didn't light at all. <laughs> Can we, should we not just light the fire lighter with the matches? I worry that guests won't be able to do this. Well, this isn't the approved method, I don't think. What's the approved method? We'll come back to you when we've got some temperature. 
So the temperature's going up pretty quick. It's been all of about two minutes and it's already creeping up to 250 degrees. But my worry is that it'll just get way too hot and then you'll just end up burning the pizza. Well, you just very quickly cook the pizza. Do you? Yeah. That's big, those flames. I know. Why are they so big? Are well, they meant to be like that big? I don't know. I've never done this before. Okay, so we've been cooking some garlic bread now. The temperature's dropped quite a lot, but we're not bothering to put any more pellets in. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit uneven, but it tastes quite nice. Ma? Mm -hmm. It's Friday today. We are cleaning the whole site, but we don't have to do any bedding because this weekend my friends are all coming down. Um, I'm really excited. They're all my friends from school, so we're looking forward to seeing them. Um, it's because the farmer next door has a massive party once a year, so we block the whole site out so that because obviously we couldn't rent it because the music's so loud. Hey, mate. Hi. So that's what we're doing today. We're just literally cleaning everywhere for them to arrive later. <laughs> The kids have had friends over today, that's been really nice, we've dropped them back, um, now it's all a bit calmer, but my friends have just started to arrive from different places, um, the ones that are here now are from Surrey, um, I haven't seen them for probably like uh, six months, so it's quite exciting, so I'm going to have a nice chilled out evening, we're going to get a takeaway, cook the kids some pasta, and um, then get ready for the party tomorrow. So we just went and got some Chinese. Um, adults are all having sophisticated, nice Chinese. The kids are all crazy on the trampoline. Um, so we're about to make um, this white sangria, which is elderflower white wine, um, a little bit of the fruit, frozen fruit, um, and sparkling water. So I'll let you know how it is. Saturday morning, um, William and I have just got up, so we're gonna go and do breakfast for everybody in the studio. So um, I've cold. gone and, it is a bit cold. The weather today is supposed to be absolutely shocking, which I'm gutted about, because we were gonna go and take a route to the newt, but it's looking really, really pumped, so we might have to rethink our plans. So I'm just gonna go and cook everybody like pastries and cereal and toast and stuff like that. Um, and then we need to make a plan as to what we're gonna do. So we managed to get everybody out in convoy. There was about six cars. We managed to get ourselves to the newt. Um, it is absolutely chucking it down. Everybody is drenched. The kids are slightly moany, um, but we've just gone into the story of gardening. So it's this big building here. Um, we're getting coffee and they can go and, like the ones that haven't done it can go through the story of gardening and do all that. So um, that is what we're doing now. We're on a deer hunt, so we can see them all up there. Oh, there's loads of them. I don't know if you're to see, I'm gonna sneak across country because the boys will probably flush them out because they're so noisy. Oh no, see, they're running for them now. They've had it. That concludes our very wet and soggy trip to the newt. Everyone's had a lovely time, yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. I kind of love it comes to the Newton the rain. <laughs> the kids like literally ran through everything that they could to get themselves as wet as possible. Like the and the now they've got to get back in the car. Apart from me. Yeah, apart I from the sensible Annabelle who's incredibly dry. Um, Eliza's, you know, soaking, soaking. Are you feeling soaking? Yeah. So Disfest has started and we've already had about three people come in our gate wondering where the party next door is. So we haven't shut the gate for years. So Brian's having to uh, hedge trim in order to shut the gate to stop the people keep coming down here. Yeah, because they- It needs to be trimmed anyway, so this is just a good excuse. It's a good because excuse. Because they always come down for they, Diz Fest. For Diz Fest, yeah. So we've um, just come up to the top of the field to see if we can do some secret covert filming of the party next door so you can see what it's like. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to sneak and put you through the hedge. Marquee. Over there, and the bar. And the music, and it's, yeah, they've got festoon nights and all that. I love it so much, it's epic. <laughs> <laughs> it normally goes on till about four, three, four in the morning, and they do mouse racing and stuff. So obviously, that's why we can't have guests here.
We had such fun partying last night, the kids were hilarious. Um, luckily no hangover this morning because I've got five domes to change over. We've got the full site out, full site in. Um, I'm gutted, I should have just blocked out the Sunday so that I had a bit more time with my friends. But we've got the full site in, so we're just gonna crack on and clean all the domes now. So we're actually on our last dome now. So I've got Lizzie, Rochelle and Rachel all here. So um, we've done like amazing, very efficient cleaning. Um, so they're just in here now doing the bedding. And then this is the last day, isn't it? But then the downstairs are gonna be horrendous. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> all my friends have just left. So we had some lunch. Um, we didn't finish all the cleaning, had some lunch, cleaned up the studio and stuff. So that is all done, ready for guests. I just need to put brownies everywhere, but that's all. Um, but then Brian's gone mowing and he's come back with, oh, this needs doing, this needs doing, this needs doing. Including he clipped the edge of the deck with the mower. So I need to kind of like pull that piece off probably and make sure there's nothing um, that can hurt anybody, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. It's felt, it felt like the world's longest change every day because I was trying to socialize at the same time as clean, at the same time as like make lunch and make sure everyone was happy. So, um, but yeah, it was so nice to see my friends. I had, I just loved it. I just love having them here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and sort out all these issues and then hopefully have a little five minute cup of tea. So that's another week done. Thank you so much for watching. It's been crazy, but also so lovely to actually see some friends and spend some time with them. And I didn't even have a hangover, so that was bonus. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will be continuing with our vlogging and crazy season next Sunday.